What's going on, everybody? Ram the Man here. Back with another little tip for y'all. BMW. This is a BMW E60 2006 uh, 528XI. So the all-wheel drive. This was having like a grinding noise when I turned the car off. And also when... Um, when you'd be driving, you would get uh, the lights on the dash showing um, like the all-wheel drive symbol um, and a couple other little lights, I'm not too sure. But I just want to show you guys that it is possible to drop this without having to take the exhaust off. You see the exhaust is still hooked up. Sorry, I'm holding the phone upside down so I'm going to rotate it real quick. So I didn't touch the exhaust anything like that and then give it a flip again so as you see here here's the old one now you do have to maneuver it around though you gotta flip it around flip flip it around move it around angle it best way was this way right get it to this position come down oh wait sorry I didn't mean to do that come down like this and then twist kind of like that a little bit you have to fold this part down but that's the maneuver you can definitely get this down without having to drop the exhaust so let me show you let me just show you really quick E60 or E61 or whichever this is supposed to be but yeah this can be done on jack stands and exhaust not attached the plugs you want to get yourself a pick so then you can slip it under you can slip this piece over where's that oh no the sensor I took the sensor off because you have to take the sensor off anyway in order to it's somewhere around here you have to take the sensor off anyway to get to the third bolt. Here is how it will be orientated when you're looking at it. The bolt will go here. And where the sensor would go. Guys, I'm not sure where the sensor disappeared off to, but the sensor is around here somewhere. Oh, right here. It'll go like this. This is how it will sit with the plug going this way. So, don't waste your time trying to take this off right from here. You're going to have to take it off from here first, get it out the way, then you can get this one. Then, as you see, you have much more room to get this down. Same for the plug, same for the plug, like the main plug. The main plug down right there. Same one for this one. Leave it plugged in. Don't worry about trying to unplug it from here. I didn't drop the heat shield or anything. Other than the one bolt that goes here in one of these spots. I just moved that out the way. But I just bent this down. Move this around. Or move the, the servo around. And then once I got it face down. Then I was able to get a pick or a screwdriver. Whatever you want to use. To then unplug the plugs. And then you'll be able to slip it out, like I said, and do the whole song and dance. So, just a quick little tip for y'all. I just want to get that to y'all so you guys can do this yourselves in the driveway, like I said, on jack stands. Don't have to have a lift. Don't have to have anything like that. No fancy tools. I used an 8mm for the main bolts because I didn't have the E socket. I had an E14, but not the E10 or 12, which is supposed to be. I used the 8mm socket for these and then for the small one in the middle that is a 3 sixteenths right here yeah 3 sixteenths so you do that and that'll take care of your work so alright guys signing out